Today I'm in here working on my uh, V6 Buick engine. This is what they call the uh, Stage T Buick. It's uh, similar to the production models they put in uh, Grand Nationals, but it's a little bit more badass. I think this is one of the most badass engines in like American history. Uh, they used to put these in NASCARs. They did really well in all the NASCARs they put them in. To this day, the Indianapolis 500, the fastest lap ever, the record for the fastest lap Indy 500 was a Buick V6 just like this, had a big turbo on it uh, back in 1996, and it hasn't been beat since. So this motor is uh, serious. Uh, this one here, it came out of a NASCAR, or it was made originally for a NASCAR. This is a, it's been rebuilt. It's a fresh motor, but it's set up for naturally aspirated. So it, uh, it's got really hot compression, and it's not really the best for a turbo setup, which is what I want to do with it. So I'm going to send this out to uh, Kenny Duttweiler out in California, and he's going to go through it. And he wants me to take it apart so we can see what it's made of, so he has an idea you know, what we got to do to it. So we're gonna go ahead and tear this thing apart. I went ahead and took some bolts and stuff out, but I haven't actually removed anything yet because I kind of wanted to share that with you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and tear this thing apart. I actually have had the intake off because I was checking their intake. But this thing's pretty cool. It should make uh, like 1600 horsepower. So that's pretty crazy. It has real high RPMs. So it's got solid lifters. Uh, they're not hydraulic. It's got these links in here keep them from rotating and then these are cool too it's got these uh these oil lines it feeds oil into your valve covers and there's squirters inside the valve covers i don't know if you can see it but there's little pinholes there's one two three there's six of them little pinholes in that tube that's welded in there and that squirts on the uh the valve train here and it keeps it cool because these things spin up pretty high RPMs. It keeps everything cool and lubricated when it's going crazy fast. This is kind of crazy. It has triple valve springs. I think the thick one's more of like a damper, but there's three different springs in there. I've never seen that before. That's crazy. We're going to go ahead and back off these uh, rockers here and uh, get these push rods out. This one's not all the way. Oh, there it goes. Okay, there's a pair of them. And I got a fatter one on one side than the other. So the exhaust valve's got a fatter push rod for some reason. It's got solid roller lifters with the link in between them. So all the rocker arms were stamped with what cylinder they were. And then this one has even got a stamp too. I guess that's for a bank too. So this, this is the mounting thing for the roller rockers. So once we get that off, we can actually get to all the head bolts. Then it's got a little spacer on the bottom of it. So this is the dry sump oil pump. Kind of like, uh, like the C8s and the ZR1s from C7 and the Z6s, they are all dry sump. I think that's like the only American production cars I know that are dry sump. But that's a lot better oiling system. And these are like super fat plug wires. I've never seen plug wires that fat, I don't think. So that's one of the neat thing about these uh, stage two blocking heads. So they got one, two, three, four, five. They have six bolts per cylinder clamping the cylinder head on, which when you're running a lot of boost and a lot of horsepower, it has a tendency that the head wants to come off. And most of your production blocks only have maybe like four bolts. So uh, it's a really strong setup on this aftermarket parts. Back in the day, you could order the uh, stage two parts from Buick kind of like a Chevy Performance now. You can buy like an LSX block or something. It's kind of like that. This one's got 
got some heat valves in it. I took some pictures and sent them to Kenny. I'm gonna go off whatever he says because he's the man. We're inside the garage. I'm just grabbing a few tools. Uh, I bought a couple of new vehicles we're gonna be working on. Um, I just want to show you I got all the lights up in the garage. They look a lot better, a lot brighter. Go ahead and hit the light switch. Yeah, this is much better now. You can actually like see the work on stuff. So that's gonna help out a lot. I gotta run some uh, T20 outlets for my compressor, my welders, and the lift. And then once that's running, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the lift. And that would be super awesome. But let's head to the house and we'll go look at what I bought. I bought a couple of other cars since I made the video last. Go ahead and just show you real quick. I'm not gonna go very in depth because I'll make more videos, but I bought this is my little budget uh side by side wannabe. These geo trackers are only like a couple inches bigger than like a side by side, so I figure I'll just use one of these, they're a lot cheaper, and uh I can actually make this one street legal, which would be cool. And then I bought it's 96 Z28. So uh I'll make a video about those in the future, but uh, thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch y'all next time.